There's so many weird things that happen once you get to this high round. I Ew. All right, and welcome back, guys. And I am extremely excited to be able to make this video. There was a point in time where I never thought this was going to be possible. I never thought this video was going to be made because I just didn't think it was going to happen. But it has finally happened, and I am extremely excited to share this with you guys. And uh, yeah, this is the last time this is ever going to happen. We will not be able to make another video like this for Cold War. It's done now. It has happened for the last possible time in Cold War, never to be achieved again. And if you guys are part of the zombies community or know anything about high rounding in Cold War, you probably know exactly what we are talking about. A little bit of a backstory. When Cold War first launched, the highest possible round you get to, I think it was 256. I'm not a thousand percent sure on that, but it was it was pretty low. The highest possible round you could achieve in Cold War was not a very high round at all. Um, and then once you hit that round, once you would go any higher, the rounds would not progress. However, I think it was season one or two, they updated the round cap to go all the way to 935. Meaning, if you were playing Cold War Zombies on round base, not an Outbreak. Outbreak works a little bit differently. If you're playing D-Machina, Firebase, Forsaken, Mauer, or Toten, you can go through rounds all the way up to round 935. And once you hit round 935, if you progress through the next round, it will keep you at round 935. So that is the round cap here in Cold War. A pretty freaking high round cap. And uh, people originally, I think Firebase E was the first map it was achieved on. Someone managed to get round 935 on Firebase E. Then obviously it happened on D-Machina and Mauer or Toten. But for the longest time, Forsaken was unbeatable. No one was able to get to that round cap. Uh, a lot of people trying, a lot of issues because the game... Forsaken, I think, is probably the least stable of all the maps. It was continuously crashing. People would get up into 600-ish and the game would crash. But uh, you guys know, uh, if you guys watched our original video that we talked about this, when Insomnia Virus hit level around 1,000 in round 935 in Outbreak, and we kind of found out how Outbreak mechanics worked and how it was different. You guys know Insomnia has been absolutely grinding his butt off on Mauer Tote and these other maps. And using a different combination of strategies, Insomnia Virus a couple days ago was finally able to hit the round cap for Forsaken, all the way up to 935 for the first time. And the most interesting thing, this was done completely in spawn, so he didn't have perks, he didn't have Jug, he didn't have a quick revive, only the crafting table, and I think you can actually buy Death Perception without having any sort of power. So he, he could have Death Perception if he wanted so. And we're gonna break down all the strategies that made this possible, and this is one, extremely exciting, but at the same time, a little bit sad. That is all the maps now in Cold War Zombies. Every single one of them, we have now been to the round cap. So no one will ever get a higher round in Cold War. All of the, po like the highest possible round has been achieved on every single map. So from this point on, no one will ever, I guess outbreak technically, if you want to count outbreak. But if we're talking about round based maps, it's it. The highest rounds have been achieved. No one can surpass what has already been done from this point on. Now we're going to go ahead and watch the live stream where Insomnia Virus hit this. And it's very interesting, all the strategies. And uh, <laughs> it's pretty entertaining. So we're going to break down exactly what happened. But before we do that, I want you right now to go over in the description. Go to Insomnia Virus's YouTube channel. He spent 150 hours in this one single game. But this was not his first attempt. He has been grinding at this pretty much since Forsaken has launched. Trying, finding out all these different strategies. Eventually getting it to work. So this was a long time in the making and it definitely deserves. Don't like my video. I don't want you to like this video. Don't like this. Instead of liking my video, go to the description, click on his channel, sub to him. He's at 42,000 subs and he's definitely going to hundred K fairly soon. Make sure you sub to him and make sure you like his newest video uh, just because he deserves the like more than what we did because he is the one who put in all this work. But with that being said, let's go ahead, open up and watch this live stream here. As you can see, round nine, three, four. And the first super interesting thing you can see here, he's in the spawn room because once you start opening the map, that is one of the issues that caused the game to crash. So for him to be able to hit nine, three, five, he had to stay in the spawn room the entire time. So no perks, no perks. The highest possible, the highest round ever achieved in Forsaken was now done as a first room challenge with no perks. And another extremely interesting thing, you can see he's playing a game of the floor is lava. Another interesting thing is if you spend time on the ground, you have higher chances of getting freezes. So what he does is he buys the war machine. 
and then he jumps up and he essentially jump oh he's getting armor too as well but after he gets the war machine and he gets armor he jumps around essentially from the tops of all these things to be able to stop the freezes from happening and it is just so interesting all these little small things that were figured out to be able to make this possible one staying in the spawn room two pretending the floor is lava jumping around and i just find it extremely interesting here but uh yeah definitely check out this live stream this is going to be linked in the description below this is definitely a historical moment for zombies closing off the chapter here in black ops cold war and uh it's kind of interesting what he does once he hits 935 we definitely want to check this out let's let's turn up the volume a little this bit it? here is this it? no wait is this it is this it wait oh is it still spawning what the <laughs> This this was the longest spawning, round guys. ever. I was here in the live stream and it was the amount of times oh, he said one more war machine. Stubborn, honestly, it's it's just stubborn. Nice. There we go. Nine, three, five, guys. And just Finally. like that, oh my the final possible highest round was achieved in Cold War. At this point in time, past this moment, no one will ever achieve a higher round than what has already been done my in God, Cold War. We freaking got it, guys! 935! Oh my goodness, guys! That's actually cracked! But see, That's see, as he's on the ground, guys, look at the freezes that happen. It. Wow, this is like this is like literally like my first try, basically, guys. Oh my goodness. This guys. right here is the timer. 152 hours. The disciple round, I know, but I need to charge in my ether. Um I'm gonna turn on I'm gonna turn on the portal, guys. I'm gonna turn on the portal. Um, bro, the chat's actually cracked. We freaking got it, guys. Okay, I'm gonna get my ether. Sorry, I need two ethers. I gotta turn on the portal. I gotta, we're gonna start teleporting, right? Uh, oh my god. Just, sorry, there's so many super chats I can't read right now, guys. Sorry, I'm like in a very, uh, very, very, uh, bad timing right now. Um, skip ahead a little bit. So he goes to turn on power, and this is what I mean. He started to play the game after this. Look at these long freezes. Essentially, as he sits on the ground and starts to open up the map, it legit, it, he's not frozen. It, it Well, it is frozen, but the game hasn't crashed yet. He is legitimately just sitting here and it stays frozen like this for like 30, 40 seconds. And then it'll eventually let him play again, but watch what happens. He'll turn on the portal, he'll walk a few seconds. And wait. And now he's got to wait that entire time again. So that is part of the reason why he was jumping from top to top to top. The Cold War gets very... It, the main thing that happens as you get to high rounds on Cold War, you get these random freezes. This is what happened on Mauer or Toten that made high rounding so hard. Is once you get into like the five, six hundreds, you just... It does these long pauses. And the game doesn't crash. You could theoretically play, but... Playing one going to round 935 already takes 150 plus hours. But on top of that, if you include a bunch of random freezes that makes the game slower and slower, it makes the time get up to just impossible methods here. So we're going to skip forward just a little bit here. Freaking kill them, guys. Oh my God. Freaking, I'm freaking. Wait, wait Let's for see it. Let's see what happens, guys. Wait for it. Guys, holy shit. I freaking kill them, guys. Oh my God. We freaking kill God dang it. Never gives me the, the, the part about now this I'm is, the this is a seven hour live stream. So trying to fast forward to specific parts is near impossible. So you would think, right? What is the first thing you do? You hit round 935, first in the world on Forsaken. What is the first thing you do to celebrate? Right? There's a ton of things you could do, right? Well, Insomnia, the first thing he decided to do was kill Ronald Reagan. So I guess technically right now, this is the first time Ronald Reagan has ever been killed on round 935. So that is that is that. Not only was he the first person to hit round 935, the first person to kill Ronald Reagan on 935. That is a little bit disrespectful, but, uh, you know, Ronald Reagan will will uh, will <laughs> will live on the next game. And then not much happens after this. He proceeds to start chorting, heading towards power. Uh, still having the freezes teleports through here. Look at the teleport. Look at how pixelated this is. Like, there's so many weird things that happen once you get to this high round. I kind of wish he didn't crash because I would have just loved to see what happens if you went to the arcade machine. Like, testing out all this stuff on round 935 is so interesting. Like, look at that. It pixelated the portal. He's going to the pixelated dark ether right now. But uh, past this point, he then proceeds to start turning on power, heads down here. It's lagging so hard. Holy shit, it's lighting hard. Okay, I don't know what to do here. How do you turn on the power? This is I, I found that kind of funny. He has been in Forsaken for 152 hours, and as he comes in here, he's like, how do you turn on power? He has been in spawn room so long that <laughs> the steps to power are uh, taking him a minute to come up with. Power. Oh my, okay. 
and then that's Holy it. And then as he went to open the door, that is when the game crashed, and that is when it ended right there. And uh, yeah, I've been waiting a long time to make this video, especially after he hit uh, round a thousand on uh, Outbreak, and that is it. This is the, the final game here, the last game that a new round was achieved in Cold War. Um, and, and that's that. And unfortunately, uh, you guys know the current state of Vanguard. It's not really as fun to high round. The game's very crashy, but I hope there is a strong high rounding community and there are fun challenges like this in the next uh, Zombies game. The next Treyarch Zombie game or even Modern Warfare 2020 or uh, the Modern Warfare game coming out this year is probably not gonna have zombies. But uh, I hope this happens again. Watching people stream for hours and hours trying to be the first one to hit these, these super high rounds, whatever the round cap is, has been extremely enjoyable in Cold War. Unfortunately, that is now over and uh, I hope I hope we get this back again. But like I said, you guys definitely need to go in the description below. Check out Insomnia Virus. I'm going to have this stream right here linked. If you want to watch it, watch the strategy, see what happens. See him kill Ronald Reagan on 935. Make sure you go down there, drop him a sub, drop him a like. He is definitely put in the grind and it uh, it is definitely paying off. Insomnia, uh, thank you so much for letting me use this footage. Thank you so much for what you've done for the community. And I think with that, we're going to we're going to wrap this up, boys. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what is your highest round in Cold War? Out of all the maps, what have you got to? Is it 935? Is it 100? Is it 200? Uh, I think mine personally is round 133. And then I exfilled because, uh, yeah, I, I was I was done. I do not have the patience to put in 152 hours. Yep. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who came to Twitch sub or a YouTube member and an extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2X Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh. And then we've got the absolute legend, Peyton Perkins. Once again, got to get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock Plus Plus members here on YouTube.